Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Oh my gosh, here we are again. Monday, Monday. I love Mondays. All right. So please, in the comments, tell me where you are and what you're up to this week. What are you doing for yourself, for your business? There's my cat again. I'm going to be known as the person that has a cat behind them in my Facebook lives. <laughs> anyway, okay. So what is my topic this morning before I'm off and running? So here's the thing. First of all, I want to say when um, please don't let opportunities pass you by. Not a good thing to do. I have the opportunity to drive about an hour and a half to go visit a friend from Southern California who is absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, I could say, you know, I don't really want to get in the car and drive through San Francisco and, and you know, have to, you know, stop all the things that I was going to do today. I'm actually going to go take the opportunity to go visit with him. He's an amazing person. He's amazing with business. And um, anyway, super excited to um, take a little drive down there. Plus, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. And I can't wait to get my convertible, put the top down, and go for a drive. So anyway, what am I talking to you today about today? My, my title is Surrounding Yourself with Positive positive people in situations and getting rid of negative and this is like my mantra anyway but this morning just a little bit ago my friend cherry um she has some cards that she pulls and she she uh, oh my gosh leonard look at some of these people that are on here bob hey you guys okay so here we go um I want to read what she just sent me on Facebook, okay? And I think it's super important that I share this today because this really is my mantra, and uh, and it's what I live by, and I tend to live by. So um, here we go. Positive energy, all right? That's what we're talking about today. So I'm reading this off of my phone here because this is what she just sent me. Surround yourself with positive people and situations. Positive people and positive situations. Avoid negativity, okay? I'm one of those people that I have nothing to do with negativity. If I'm around someone that says anything negative, has any sort of negative energy, you know, I, I find ways to go away, <laughs> to go away from them. So avoid negativity. Your manifestation work is going wonderful, wonderfully well. Now, again, I am reading this card. Um, it's a deck of cards that my friend pulled this card out of today, and I just thought it was really cool. Um, you're encouraged to take the process to an even higher level by going on a negativity diet. I love that. A negativity diet. Let's all go on a negativity diet. This means what? It means avoiding negative influence as much as possible. Any kind of negative influence, such as this. Um, avoid negative discussions with yourself or other people. Okay? Get that with yourself or other people. How many of you have negative discussions with yourself? You know, a lot of times in the morning, especially women, we look in the mirror and we're like, oh, you know, my face is fat, I have wrinkles, whatever. I look like crap, my hair is a mess. I need, you know, get rid of that. You know, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're wonderful, and find positive in everything. Okay, so this is what we're talking about today. Those of you who are just popping on right here, surrounding yourself with positivity in your life and getting rid of negative and going on a negativity diet. So here we go. Um, let me keep, I'm reading this off of my phone here. So turn, here's other things. Avoid negative discussions, like I said, with yourself or others, but turn off the television and radio programs and things like that that have negative themes, okay? Negative themes, you know, or someone that has a negative energy. Get rid of that. Turn it off, you know? I don't even have TV. I haven't had TV in forever. I mean, in a really long time, and it's really changed my life. So um, if I watch anything, it's usually something fun, like, you know, The Voice or something like that. Okay, so anyway, get rid of negative stuff. Um, negative things, here we are, where are we? Oh, um, any programs with negative themes and stay away from violent movies. Don't read pessimistic headlines and steer clear of gossip based magazines. Okay, they're just all gossip, right? Um, this negativity diet will cleanse you of any hidden blocks that could slow down the manifestation of your dreams or slow down. Um, I'm trying to look at you and read. Slow down the manifestation of trees or prevent them from coming true at all. That's right. If you are around a lot of negative stuff and you have dreams and things that you want to accomplish, 
those negative things are kind of like these roadblocks. They stop you, okay? They're things that jump out in front of you and they block you and take your attention away from what the big picture is, what you really, really want in your life, right? Okay, another thing you can do is apply Feng Shui, the ancient Chinese of placement to your physical environment. I don't know a whole lot about Feng Shui, but I feel like I should learn about it. Um, let's see, what else does it say? Um, you're also... Uh, oh, donate or sell items in your home that are cluttering things that are cluttering. Okay. I, it's so funny. I did my Facebook live the other day about what you're tolerating, you know, things in your house, the things around you or in your car, whatever that you're tolerating, like a dark, dirty car or a burnt out light bulb or any of that kind of stuff. So get rid of that and get rid of clutter. Like if you walk by something, you're like, I don't really like that thing. Get rid of it. Take, donate it, give it away, sell it, whatever. Okay. Um, that when you do that it helps bring new energy into your house new energy all right and also establish an environment that cr promotes creativity health and abundance so every morning think about this this is why i write in my journal every night i write in a journal and i always talk about what great amazing things happen that day and then you know what i do every time i write down the next day and then i write in my journal as if the next day already happened. So I write in my journal what I want to happen, okay? What I know, what I want to manifest for that day. So anyway, create positive things, get rid of negative things in your life. So anyway, do that for me today. I'm gonna to stop because guess what? I'm taking the opportunity, like I said at the beginning, to go and drive down to San Jose and uh, visit a friend that I haven't seen in a while. And you know, he's there for the Queen concert, which wow, I didn't even know that was happening. That would look like a lot of fun. So um, anyway, go take, grab a hold of great opportunities today. Today, Stay away from negativity, any kind of negativity. Turn that darn TV off and get rid of all the negative stuff only listen to and be around positive people. So Susan says, hi, Sue. Oh, hello, Susan. Yes, it feels so good to, to declutter. I'm telling you, um, most of you know, I went from you know being in a big house and I slowly started going down, 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 and now I live in an RV and I'm actually starting my hunt for a motorhome, uh, which is gonna be even smaller than what I live in now. And I'm so excited because I'm getting rid of everything. It is one of the best feelings I've ever had in my whole life. And yes, it feels so good to declutter. And you know, it's kind of like, when I clean and get rid of stuff, it's, it's kind of like I'm taking all the stuff out of my head even, and I feel just better. So anyway, go out there, you guys. Have an amazing, wonderful day. Stay positive and um, post where you're coming from, where you're listening from today. And maybe what's one thing that you're going to do this week that um, is going to move the needle forward in your business and in your life. Okay, have a great day. If you guys ever want to chat, you can go to meet with sue.com um, my my website by the way is suebrook.com and i always forget there might be some people on here who are watching me and wondering who the heck you are i am sue brook and um i just love inspiring you and, and educating and doing these facebook lives once in a while so i'm in the car headed to go visit a friend you guys have an amazing day thanks for watching see you later